Okay, so this video is for all you beginner traders out there that are struggling trying to depict the direction of the actual market. We want to find out which way is the market trending because supply and demand, you know, for those that trade it, uh, and that is looking for aggressive areas of buying and selling within the market, works best within a trending market, okay? So, what you want to do first and foremost all right is to always look at your higher base chart your higher time frame okay whether you trade range time volume tick charts it doesn't matter you but you need to determine first which chart you're going to look at from your higher perspective okay so for me i'm using a 120 range chart all right um, it all boils down to when we talk about this is looking at market structure you have to have to uh, find out which direction the market is actually moving. Is it trending up or are we moving down? So this is the, you hear, hear traders talk about the key term break of structure. Is the market making higher highs and higher lows? Is it breaking structure continuously to the upside or is it reversing to give us a structural break to the downside and then make a lower high and then make a lower low? Reversals happen in that form uh, or, or fashion. If we are trending to the upside, what you want to see is where the market breaks structure below, meaning a swing low, and then pulls back to a, it makes a lower high, and then makes a new low. That's going to tell you, it's going to give you the heads up that the market is trying to reverse and change direction. And then opposite of if it is, uh, you know, moving lower. So if it's breaking structure to the downside, meaning making lower lows and lower highs, and then it turns around and takes out a high, meaning breaking a previous structural area okay make it a high pulls back makes a higher low and then makes a higher high then that's telling you that the market wants to do what change direction and move back to the upside okay or start to move to the upside so first and foremost to pick your higher base chart okay and then look at it to determine structure wise are we making higher highs or higher lows all right so if i look out here on my uh, 120 range chart this is on the nasdaq 100 what I see over the last few days is that the market has been moving to the upside, okay? Now, let me try to squeeze this in a little further so we can take a look here. You see these highs right here? Right here above, say, 18,554. That is a uh, structural high, okay? Why is it a structural high? Look here. If you see right here where the market started pushing up, what was it doing? It was making swings within this larger swing area so if it breaks down to the downside and breaks this low right here then it's broken a low then that's a structural break to the downside that is a clear identified structural break okay this is an area of structure right here if it turns back around okay and takes out that high back to the upside then we got a structural break uh high meaning it's broken a prior high okay where the market had formed structure to the downside now it's taking it back out to the upside when you see key things like that then that's going to help you identify okay this is a major area structure it just took it out now the market if it continues making higher highs and higher lows then it is moving to the upside okay we had a major structure break all right so first you want to be able to identify that okay is it breaking a major area structure or an area structure where there was a nice formation of structure within a swing back to the upside then we're going to possibly move higher if it does that in reverse of but to the downside where it takes out a low where there was a significant area structure that was formed and it breaks structure lower so for example right here if the market was moving higher here okay and it has these higher highs and higher lows where it's creating the area structure but then turns back around and takes out this area here at 17,745. Okay, then we got a major structure break because this was the lowest area within this area here as the market was, you know, moving pretty much. Okay, at the break and lower, it pushed back up, then it comes back down for break structure. It takes out this last low, the prior low, or the most recent low. Okay, where there's nothing below it, then that means that the market just took out a major low, uh, an area of structure. Okay. But in this case here, we took out a high here, an area where there was a significant area structure where the market is breaking higher to the upside. So when you see this on your higher base chart, what does that tell you? Oh, the market must be trying to move higher. So look for key things like that to determine the trend of the market. And as long as the market is, it took out this area right here. I'm going to mark it for you right quick. We'll use this line. 
It took this area here out, which was a major area structure, and continues making highs, higher lows, highs, higher lows, new highs. You know, and they're making, you know, we got this, this, these high, I mean, these lows here, new highs, low highs, lows, and then starts to just, you know, these are small little swings to the upside. But these areas in between, these are structure breaks, you know, decent area with the structure that was formed, decent area where structure was formed, broke structure, pull back, decent area, push up, break structure, pulls back, break structure again, pulls back, break structure again. As long as it's making higher highs and higher lows, you've got to be able to see this stuff with your eyes. See, structure break, uh, uh, lower high. You can say this low, uh, higher high, lower highs, higher highs. And it's breaking to the upside. As long as it's doing that, then we are moving higher. Then that's the trend of the overall market. So if I was to use like a, say a trend channel, you can see this with your, I don't have to draw this, but you can see this with your own eye. Paint the picture to the upside where the market is making higher highs and higher lows. So the trend in the market is still moving to the upside. Now, you know, what do we look for when it starts to make or starts to move in the opposite direction of, okay? All right, so we made this high here. Market pulls back. Pushes higher, okay? But then it comes down and breaks below this area structure right here, okay? Say at 18999 okay? Right around 19000 okay? It breaks that area there, all right, as it moved lower. Now, what we want to see is, okay, will the market come back up here to this towards this high here and make a lower high and then break? So basically looking like something like this where we've got, uh, let's see here. Yeah, it, it pushed up, pulled back, broke higher, came back, broke below this area here to where it does this right here, makes a lower high and then takes out this low right here. Then that's going to let you know, hey, now the market is really trying to push lower. All right. But in this case, what did it do? It continued pushing higher taking out these tops, so that's a structural break back to the upside, as you can see right there, okay? So that should tell you that the market is probably still trying to push to the upside, but you always need to look further out in your chart to the left, to the left, like I always say, to see is there key areas of resistance to where the market could actually stall out, or maybe an area of supply where the market could actually, you know, um, bounce from, reject, and then start to move in the opposite direction. You've got to be able to see things like that. This is following market structure, determining the trend so that we can be in the trend of the market trade and supply and demand, in this case here, uh, key areas of supply. Like this is this area of supply resting right here. Right here, I'm gonna draw this box. I mean, I'm sorry, not supply guys. I meant to say um, uh, demand, not supply. I was talking about supply, but uh, talking about moving to the upside. But anyways, this is an area of demand. It could come back here and push higher, right? Yes, it could. But also, you know, keep in mind too that as long as the market is moving like that, then you know we want to look for pullbacks to key areas of uh, demand. This here is an area of demand, but I talk about this. This is a movement to the upside, a leg with the market broke structure above this area here. This is like a you know halfway in the middle of a leg. I don't want to trade that area. I want to trade back at where the origination point where the market started to move, pick up momentum. Excuse me, back to the upside where it broke structure at right here. Okay. So for all you beginners out there, this is your guide, you know, just look at the charts, allow yourself to be in sync with it and flow with the movement of the market. As long as it's making higher highs and higher lows, after it took out a significant area structure and it's making higher highs and higher lows, then you should want, you should want to look for demand, um, uh, trades okay or at least pull back to areas of some areas if you trade support okay to where it can continue pushing higher then the telltale sign of where it's you know reversing or changing direction most people have a hard time seeing that for for example like right here i just showed you if it breaks through this area this is a decent area structure push down broke structure here but immediately we're not going to start looking for uh, shorts because we need the market to give us some further from some further uh, guidance uh, um, letting us know that hey is this thing really trying to push lower or is it just breaking this area here you know taking some traders out grabbing liquidity to go back to the upside and that's what it did it came up here pulled back broke this area grabbed liquidity and ran higher okay so if you if you have a hard time really uh, looking for looking at the swings and determining the market is making new highs or breaking structure then just do this you can go up here go to move this down further uh, go to right here well if you, if you use ninja trader 8 uh, but you can use most programs have this or, or, pla or charting platforms instead of looking at candle st sticks convert it to line and close you can see here the market pushed up pull back broke higher 
came back down broke structure right here this clearly helps you see the market from a better perspective okay okay is it continue making new highs or, it, or is it running structure to the, or breaking structure to the downside broke here but when we came back up here to towards this high we didn't make a, a lower high to where it folded back down and took out this area here it ran back up and took out structure on the top end so we're still bullish okay so look for things like that keep your eye on those type movements and that's going to keep you in sync and in flow with the market so hopefully this video helps you guys out especially beginners out there that are having a hard time again determining the market trend all right so um you know if you found value in today's video and you're not a subscriber yet you're a first time viewer please take the time to go ahead click on that sub button the subscribe button make sure to turn on all your post notifications so you don't miss any of the uploads now if you're someone that's really wanting to get an understanding of the strategy and how i trade supply and demand for example you can become an elite member you probably say mike what is that all right i get dms on the daily people are asking me how they can join you get the trade breakdowns to walk you through trade setups so you get grasp and understanding in depth what the trade setups look like, what the strategy and how it works, okay? It's only $6.99 a month. That's all it is. Very inexpensive fee to gain a whole lot of information and knowledge, okay? If you don't believe me, you can come over to the Discord or you can ask community members and they'll tell you that the elite membership has helped them see things from a better uh, perspective um, and help them understand how to trade the strategy correctly so again if you're interested in becoming an elite member scroll down to the the description portion of the video you're going to see two links there the first one is for the discord the second one below it is uh, where it says become an elite member click on that one two tiers will pop up make sure to choose a tier that's that's for six dollars and 99 cent and then you'll get direct access to the trade breakdowns the video playlist as well as uh, other video content like i did a great one on market structure which you probably really need to watch okay so if, if you're having a hard time understanding market structure all right but if you found value in today's video please do me the biggest favor of all especially for anyone that is a current subscriber and is part of the discord community and you are a loyal and valuable member of the community please drop a like on the video i appreciate it take care and i'll see everyone in the next one